When a thought occurs, capture it as the details are very clear and visible. Because later you forget, things get blurry and you fail to remember the details and the exact context. I used to use pen and paper, whiteboards or some scratch pad, but then I discovered this. Do a video around voice notes to Notion. Video on voice notes to Notion. As they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I continued with text as my main note-taking method. But then details were lost, context was hazy, memories were distorted, and the depth and emotion was missing. And I wasn't feeling as excited as when the thought struck me. So a lot of things got into a parking lot that was full of forgotten things. That led me to research for a best practice. My research led me to voice, not any voice, my voice. So while I could type at 35 words a minute on a mobile, on 90 words a minute on a desktop keyboard, it was still nothing close to 160 plus words a minute from my mouth. I could use any language or combination for maximum impact. Notion's databases were a fantastic place to keep record, tag it, move it around, and to use to execute projects for ideas. I quickly figured out how to use the Notion Clipper to put that voice note into Notion. So I quickly scrambled, created a voice notes to Notion database and recorded my voice using the voice memo application. The Notion database has an automated created date, a topic, the default name field, which captures a narrative, a checkbox for later call processed, and a notes column. While the voice note would appear, the narrative in the Notion database wasn't complete. There were disjointed steps, one to record and save the record inside of an app, then share it from there, and finally add some text into Notion. So my unhappy journey led me to Apple Shortcuts. When you open Apple Shortcuts, use the plus icon to follow along to create this shortcut. Search for the headings you see on the screen and you will be able to see them and add them in. By following the sequence, you can easily pick the right combination. Play around with each step till you get the hang of it. If I use the voice memo app, the connection to the Apple Shortcut was lost. So I found a way to record regular audio and save that file to a separate folder in iCloud, which is the first two steps. To create that separate folder, go into the file manager on your iPhone and create this folder. This folder is your insurance for any surprises. You can delete old files later. If you select the high quality record audio feature, Notion does not recognize the voice format. Now we need a title for this voice recording that we just made. So let's build in a voice to text feature into the shortcut. First we create a dictate text option and you can choose the language and how the option would know you have stopped. As you talk, the voice is quickly translated into text right in front of you. Let's send this text to the clipboard so that we have it handy for our next step. You could just have a title or repeat the same sentence that you dictated into the voice note. Your choice. Apple Shortcuts works sequentially, hence you need to repeat that sentence. The next step is share and that's when the clipboard option pops up. Select the Notion web clip option and paste the text that's already there in the clipboard and voila. In Notion, it automatically pops up. I could record an entire class audio lecture if you're a student, a meeting, if you're at work, simple thoughts if you want something quick and handy. So what would you use this for? Let me know in the comments below. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing.
and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.